what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to bitcoin daily for another video today is friday october 30th happy halloween to everybody um we're gonna do today a market analysis on a, basically a recap of the week what happened over the week what we're looking at over the weekend and what we might expect next week um we're gonna look at the since this weekend is the closing of this month's candle, we're gonna look at that. Um, and you know, we'll let's see, let's see what we got going on. Let's see uh, what's been going on with the with the price. Um, before we do any of that, though, as you guys know, please hit that subscription button, hit that subscribe, smash it, punch a hole in it. Um, we're trying to get to 2,000 followers by the end of this year. We're at about at, at about 1850 currently, I believe. Um, we're so close, guys. Uh, also, make sure that you're answering that uh, question of the day and dropping it in the comments and hitting that like. If we get to 30 likes, we're giving away a free membership to our trading room for one month. Um, anything else? Anything else? Oh yeah, last thing, this is the second time we record this video because the first one, I had my screen, I had my face covering the entire screen just like this and then I completely forgot. So I drank a bunch of coffee and now I'm gonna do it again. So let's get right in guys. Uh, first things first, let me make sure my face is not in the way. There we go, you see how I'm not in the way? Perfect, I already completed my first task of the video. Second task, um, let's take a look at what's been going on here today. As you guys can see, Bitcoin has been trading pretty much flat. Um, is that down 0.34% on the day, um, but it's been kind of bouncing around a little bit. Um, Ethereum down 2.2% today, down to the 382 level. It is a actually one of the supports we've spoken about on Monday's video. Uh, video. Uh, XRP is down to 23 cents almost 3% uh, Bitcoin cash down 3.2% chain link down 2.8% uh, Binance down 5.6% Litecoin down 3% so a lot of red in the market today right um, basically almost everything's red in the market um, and you see the market cap overall down 0.85% today. So it's been a slow day. You know, Fridays are usual, usually sell-offs um, because people don't want to hold over the weekend or, you know, who knows what happens, right? So um, as you know, you know, when the weekends come, there's lower volume. So um, that's another reason why people sell on Fridays. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here as we're closing this month's candle. Um, if we look at the candle for this month, let me zoom in a bit here so that you don't see all the other nonsense. Um, so if we look at that, we will see that uh, this month in October, we opened up at $10,778, right? Um, the high that we hit this month is $13,854. The low that we hit was $10,374. And now we're currently trading at $13,549, which is if you would have opened, if you would have bought one full Bitcoin on October 1st, right? You would have bought it at $10,778. And right now you would be up 25% or $2,770. Um, that's what you would be up if you bought on October 1st. So not bad for a month, right? Um, it is one of the best months we've had recently. Um, as you guys can see, last month we were actually down 7%. The month before that, which is August, we were up 2%. Um, and then the, the month that we had that was really good prior to this one was July where we went up 24%. So we're up 25% this month. We're definitely blowing July out of the water here. Um, another thing to note, if we do end up closing here, if there's nothing crazy that happens, right? Um, this is the highest closing since, look at this, since December 2017. This is when, to, December 2017 is when Bitcoin hit $20,000, right? This is the highest we've closed since then. Look at this. Look at all the candles. You can't even see most of these candles. 
so this is our highest closing as long as Bitcoin as long as we stay in this range um, which I believe we will over the weekend well over the what next 24 hours um, we will have the second highest closing um, and we're on track to have the highest closing if we can get above that 14,000 level um, next month so um, do you got what do you guys think do you guys think that we're gonna hit 20k this year what do you guys think we have what two months left question of the day do you guys think we're gonna hit 20k this year I want to hear your answers I want to hear your thoughts I want to hear your reasoning on why um, that is a question of the day for today now let's zoom in and see you know what's been going on here on the weekly so if you, if you look at the weekly we've had four weeks in a row of just beautiful green candles right let's zoom into the daily and if you look at this daily chart what do you guys notice what is this here what is this pattern right here called we speak about this literally like we've been speaking about this pattern like every week at least once a week right um, so this right here is a bull flag pattern so what is a bull flag pattern it is when there's an impulse move then there's a consolidation period and then th there's a continuation so because it's up right the move went up so the the big move was up then cost the, the consolidation now we're in the consolidation period and then the probability for this pattern is a continuation in the direction in its initial direction so because the direction was up after this consolidation period the expected move is up right um, you guys can see the same pattern here we moved up we consolidated we continued up so um, the probability and the edge whenever this pattern pops up is to be bullish on it which is why it's called a bull flag if this was turned upside down and it was the opposite of this then it, it would be considered a bear flag and um, the prop the higher the higher probability trade would be to the downside so then you'd be playing the shorts right to try to make money on the price going down so because of the long-term trend which is up the pattern which is up which way are we going we're trading up right we don't want to trade against a trend you know you never want to counter trade the trend that is just a losing game um so yeah so let's make it easier for ourselves and let's play where the trend is going the trend is your friend till the end right that is a saying for a reason and it rhymes for a reason right so let's jump into the nitty gritty here let's zoom in a bit and let's really look at what's been going on here so we pointed out this uh divergence here right where we had a lower high higher high in the price action but the momentum indicator or the rsi showed us that a higher high to lower high in this same time period so because there was a disagreement between the price action and the momentum um we knew that something had to change there was something off with the price um because they were not they should be correlated at all times right when they're not correlated when they're in disagreement and going in opposite directions there's usually a change coming um something has to happen usually either a consolidation period a pullback a retracement you know like something is going to happen so because this was a bearish divergence meaning that this was going down while, pri while price action was going up that means bearish divergence that means that it is likely for a pullback or retracement likely for the price to correct and go down so that's exactly what we saw here uh, remember we spoke about this bearish divergence last week and we spoke about this on monday and just like we spoke about it there was a pullback here right um, and you see this ascending uh, support right here and notice how the price has been touching the support and respecting it right so it's stayed within the support only one time did it really close under it and then it bounced right back above it so that could that's an interesting play 
um, for you guys to try to buy at this support. Let me make it a little bit longer here. Um, so it looks like the this support is currently around that 13300 level, right? Right, just under 13300. So depending, you know, where if we test it again, um, it is an interesting area where you can buy, right? Um, so that is a support that we're looking at. Ideally, the way we would want to trade it is if it goes under like it did here and then when it starts going back up that we see a break above it, that's ideally what we want to buy. We don't want to really buy when it's breaking down like this because we don't know how low it's going to go. It could stop like this right here or it can go as far as, it, as this one went down here, right? So because of that, we, we don't necessarily want to buy it on the drop. We want to buy it on the bounce. So look, make sure to, to draw the same support on your charts and look at it when it's dropping. And when, when you see it popping back up above that support, that's where I would uh, trigger a buy and enter uh, a trade. Um, so that's one trade setup right there. My next trade setup that I have that I'm looking at is this buy zone right here. So let me stretch this out a bit. Um, so this is the 13,000 level, right? This is where we spoke about that I want to buy. Um, this is where I'm looking for a retracement buy. This is where we hit one of our buys right here. So one of our trades did hit here. As you guys can see, we were able to buy here. We stopped out. Then when it bounced back up, we were able to jump back in. Um, we took some profits at 13,200. Then when it dropped back, it dropped right back down to our buy area. We bought again and we rode it up, um, taking profits along the way, of course, because what do we do, guys? We always take profits. Um, now, right now, what we're doing, we're waiting on another, you know, we're waiting either for it to drop back down to the support and pop back up over it, this ascending support, or for it to drop down to our 13,000 level. Now, before it gets here, there is a lot of supports down, you know, while you go down. So the first support that we're looking at is 13,400. Now, we're not buying the support actively for a trade, um, but it is. this is more of a scalp than a trade, uh, than a day trade, really, because it, it, it could go so fast. Um, so what, what you would want to do is kind of the same idea. You want to you try to catch it. You want it to test it, go just underneath it, and then pop back above it. And when it pops back up above it, that's where you want to be buying. You want to buy the the bounce you don't want to buy the the drop right because if you buy the drop you're probably going to get stopped out that's just usually how it works look at this drop if you would have if you would have tried to buy that 13,400 level you would have probably stopped out right but if you would have waited for it to go down and then for it to come back up you would have bought that breakout and you would have been able to grab profits right there at 13,600 um so that's why we're always looking to buy the bounce not the drop um so that's the first one. Now the second support that we're looking at is gonna be around this 13,300 level because of the ascending support. Now, so this is another trade setup and you wanna trade it the same way. You don't wanna, you don't wanna try to catch that falling knife, right? You don't wanna try to catch that drop. You wanna catch the bounce back up above it. Um, and then after that, we have 13,200. You wanna play it the same way because you don't. You didn't want to catch this. Look, look how far down this went. This went all the way down to 13,119. So if you would have had like a $50 uh, stop loss and you would have entered at 13,2, you would have stopped out. And then if you didn't buy back in on the break back above, you would have missed out on the trade and you have a losing trade. So what you want to do is you want it to test it, but you want to buy it when it's bouncing back above it. Um, so that would have been the winning trade there. Um, and uh, and then after that, the last support that we're looking at is at 13,000 level. Um, so this is the, the ideal level that we would want to enter. 13,000 is the strongest support out of all of these. Um, so this would have the highest trade uh, probability. So 100% try to catch that 13,000 if we do test it one more time. Um, if not, those are the other trade setups that we're looking at. Um, if we're looking for a breakout, the only breakout that I'm really buying right now is probably above 14,000. Um, anything above this, there's just so much resistance in, in these areas that I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to use any breakout entries up here. It's just, it's not enough 
uh, for me to want to enter. Uh, not enough uh, reward for the risk, right? So I'm looking for a test back down here to enter. If not, I'm looking for a break of 14K. Then I'll enter. That could probably lead to 15K. So um, those are the setups that we're looking at over the weekend for Bitcoin. Um, let, we're going to take a look at the other coins as some of the other ones. But as always, remember, Bitcoin runs the market. Bitcoin is a king. That's why we do such in-depth uh analysis on bitcoin's price and everything we just kind of go over it you know giving you different trade setups but uh the analysis does not is not as important on the other coins than it is on bitcoin because the market moves however bitcoin moves okay so um ethereum if you look at ethereum right now is exact it's right in our buy zone Remember how I told you guys, you don't want to buy this drop, you want to buy the bounce. So this is actually in the perfect area to enter right now. You want to take this trade. This is a trade you want to take. You want to take it as close to 380 as possible, but this is definitely a trade you want to enter. You want to take um, as close to 380 as possible, but you want to catch that bounce like that. Boom. So uh, if we're entering here, then we're taking profits at around 390. So we're taking about... Uh, we're gonna risk if we're entering at 380 we're gonna we're okay risking about five between 250 to five dollars depending on how much risk you want to take and then our first target is 390 so we have a ten dollar reward that's so if, if you're risking 250 for 10 then you're getting a uh, one to four odds and if you're doing uh five dollars if you're risking five dollars to win ten then you're getting one to two odds so um so it just depends you know what odds you would rather have um you can set up your stops tighter um as far as breakouts um probably not really looking for a breakout if i was trading a breakout here i'd be looking at the 390 level above 390 or above 400 those are the two breakout entries that i'd be looking at um but right now the main entry is 380 targets are 390 and 400 and then you can buy above 400 with your targets being 410 and 420 so that's what we're looking at in ethereum let's look at bitcoin cash uh bitcoin cash is kind of on the same thing uh the so the support here is 260 um and you see it went under it and now it's bouncing back above so this is actually a good time as well just like ethereum to jump back in it um you want you'd want to be entering as you know around here that 260 range and then your targets are 370 uh 375 and 380 those would be your three targets um litecoin kind of in the same spot right uh we'd be looking to enter around here above 54 dollars as you can see it's played as a support here that 54 dollar range um previously when we when it's tested it so you could be looking to enter here at 54 with your targets being uh 56 58 and 60 being your three targets um xrp xrp is in the same spot you want to look to enter above 24 cents um with your targets being 24.50 and 25 cents probably you're going to be your your two targets and then 2550 that 2550 area excuse me um chain link let's see what we got in chain link chain link the ideal entry that we've spoken about a bunch of times is that ten dollar range right but if we don't make it down there then you're you're looking to buy at this eleven dollar support um with your uh, targets being pretty much every 50 cents, right? So you wanna you wanna take profits at 11.50, at 12, 12.50, 13, etc. With uh, your breakout being above 13 dollars would be your breakout entry. Tezos has dropped a lot. Um, I wouldn't be buying any supports here. I'd be looking to buy an entry above two dollars as a breakout entry. That's the only entry I'd be looking at for Tezos. Um, Neo, kind of the same thing. Neo dro has dropped a lot. I'd be looking to probably enter above $16 breakout entry. That's the only entry I'm really interested in here. Um, not really looking for any other entry. We do see that it's oversold over here though. So it should pop up back above this. 
um, but uh, under sixteen dollars, I just have no interest in it. Um, and last, let's do Cardano. Let's see where Cardano's at. Cardano's kind of in the same spot. You know, it's just dropping. It's oversold, um, but it continues to drop. That means momentum is just way down here right now, right? There's not a lot of momentum, so I'd be looking for a, a jump above probably 800 sats in order for a breakout entry here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I always like to look at Doge just for fun, see what it's been doing. As you guys can see, it's currently not doing much, so I'm not looking to enter. If I do enter, it would probably be above this 25 Satoshi mark. Um, but yeah, not much going on with, with Doge right now. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I think we covered everything. Um, as you guys know, I we did the question of the day. If you're looking for the question of the day in the back of the in the back of the video, if you just skipped over to the back, ha, got you. It's not in the end of the video. It's somewhere else. Look for it. Um, so just go ahead and look for that question of the day. Answer the question. Drop it in the comments. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandma. Whoever it is, tell them all about this page. Tell them all about this channel. Tell them to follow me because they want to. Trust me, they want to follow me. Um, that's basically it. If you do all those things, not only will you win a free membership, but you will become a crypto millionaire, just like everyone else that started early, right? <laughs> all right, guys, that is about it. I've had a lot of coffee, so I'm just rambling on. Um, I will see you guys on Monday, probably. I We'll try to do a live stream on Sunday night. Um, I'll, I will let you guys know on Instagram if I do end up doing that. If not, I will see you guys Monday for another market analysis. And we will review what the market did while we were gone. All right, guys. As always, peace and love.